Okay, so let's get started with the scoring. Here, I provide an example for a filled sheet. You can see the scores for this patient on the sensory exam and the motor exam for both the right and left sides. Um, where we do the scoring is, as I said, at the lower part of the uh, sheet here in this lower box. So we start by specifying the neurological levels. We need to specify the sensory level and the motor level. What are these? Here, we need to specify sensory for right and left and motor for right and left. Let's start with the sensory. The sensory level is the most caudal segment or most caudal level which has intact sensation, meaning we, ha we should have a score of two for light touch and two for pin prick on that side. So if we look at the sheet that I provided here and we look at the right side, we look at the columns for sensation. We have here two, 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 and then we have loss of sensation. Same thing for the pin prick. Now we need to specify what is the lowest segment where we have two, two on both light touch and pin prick. If we look, it's here, it's going to be C7. So this is our sensory level for the right side. Let's do the same thing for the uh, left side. So if we look here, we can see that we have two, two until this point here, T1, uh, T2, sorry. On T2, the patient has normal light touch, but impaired pin prick. So the uh, sensory level is not T2, because as we said, the sensory level should have intact sensation for both modalities. And that's why on the left side, the sensory level would be T1, okay? So if we look, all segments above it should have T2. And the one thing to note is that the sensory level is an intact level. So when I say it's T1, this means that from the top until T1, including T1, we have intact sensation.